Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Household Searchlight Recipe Book of 1937, we're going to be making a mushroom sandwich. First thing you have to do is take equal parts butter and cream and bring it to a simmer. Does it say how much? It does not. Now we're to add in a half a cup of finely chopped mushrooms and cook for seven minutes exactly. Okay, now we add salt to taste. It's interesting because the mushrooms have absorbed the cream and then what's left is the butter. Go figure, I might drain some of that off. Anyway, now we got to put this in the fridge and let it chill. All right, now we put our chilled mixture onto bread. All right, let's give this mushroom sandwich a go. How bad could it be? <laughs> cream is absorbed into the mushrooms as has most of the butter. So you get this rich, mushroomy sandwich. It is a tasty little number, um, but I do want to plus it up just a smidge. I'm gonna add some chopped chives and fresh ground pepper. Okay, let's give this mushroom sandwich plussed up with a little chopped chives and fresh ground black pepper. Go. The combination of peppers and sauteed mushrooms are fantastic. The chives are bringing a nice little uh, slight oniony, garlicky flavor to it. Using thyme in here would have been good. Tarragon. I thought about adding blue cheese, but then that's adding blue cheese to cream and butter. <laughs> well, clearly this mushroom sandwich business is a tea sandwich uh, or maybe a snack, but it is absolutely not intended as a full meal or a full sandwich. So I'm going to evaluate it based on that. I'm going to rate it based on that. I think as a tea sandwich snack sandwich, it was Nice, it was tasty. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Plus up with the black pepper and the chopped chives, I think that's probably like a seven and a half. That is a tasty little tea sandwich. Definitely gonna finish that because it's a tasty little number, but uh, would I make this again? I might as part of like a little canapé thing for a cocktail party, but I don't think I would make this again just to eat on my own because uh, there's so many other sandwiches to get to. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.